Hey everyone, for the first video in this Angular Bytes series, I'm going to be taking you through component input. Input binding on components simply provides us with a way of passing data into a component. And that's exactly what we're going to do with this message component here. At the moment, this component simply holds some static text notifying the user that they are low on storage space. We have a starsheet rule so that the text is read and it's inserted via the app component, making our message component the child and the app component the parent. Here we can see our component message working in the browser. So this is pretty basic stuff really, but what if we wanted to dynamically tell our message component the specific amount of storage space remaining in a realistic scenario, this data would be grabbed from the server. However, for this example, let's simply hard code a value into the parent app component. I'm just going to create a property called storage space free and give it a value of 0.2 GB. Now we have the data that we'd like to pass into our message component. What we want to be able to do now is to tell the message component about this data. Firstly, let's equip the message component so that it's ready to receive the storage value and to also display this in its template. We're going to be using the input decorator, so let's import that. In the message class, define a storage property as at input storage space free colon string. The input decorator is what configures this to receive the storage value from the app component. Next, let's change the template message to display this data. The double curly braces tell it to look for this property on the class. If we were to look at this in the browser now, we can see that the message has changed. However, there's no storage value to display this, we have to link the storage value on the app component to the storage property on the message component. This can be done by typing in square brackets storage space free equals in quotes storage space free onto the message component. If we check the browser, we can see that this is now updated with our storage value. So what's happening here? is the text in square brackets is what refers to the property in our message component and the text in quotes refers to the property in our app component. This is just how the structure works. The value in square brackets always refers to the component we're inserting, our message component, in other words, the child component, whereas the value in quotes always refers to the property in the parent component, in our case, the app component. So just to summarize, to pass data into components with input binding, you have to declare a property with the input decorator on the component that's receiving the input. And on the component that's inserting this, you simply assign a value to the input property using this format. That's it from me for now. Thanks for watching. See you later.